Fine, thank you. What do we have here? I, lo I love it when you bring things to show and tell us. <laughs> okay, this is a, a suction machine. A suction machine. Yes. It's a piece of medical equipment that is used to suck fluids, essentially. That's it, yeah. Fafanua. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, in a typical maternal situation, uh, when a mother is giving birth, there are fluids you know, spilling all over. Uh, then there is also what we call uh, respiratory distress that occurs in newborns. That means the baby is unable to breathe. So this is the machine that they use to, to get uh, the flu to suck off all the fluids and also clear the pathways of the newborn. Why has this been at Nairobi Innovation Week? What is so unique about it? Okay, um, what is unique is that we designed and fabricated this locally at the University of Nairobi, the Fab Lab. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I thought I would have to remind you to clap, man. <laughs> you guys are fantastic, great audience. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So we designed and fabricated this locally. So only one part in this machine has been imported. Everything else is available locally. So essentially that means that in terms of uh, maintenance, it's quick and easy. One of the problems that face our hospitals is that these machines are very pricey. Right. This machine is at quarter the it's current ma uh, market price of any other machine. Wow. So this was done and fabricated locally, and then it's a quarter of the cost of what a, a yes. machine of similar function would cost. Exactly. That's your cue to clap. <laughs> <laughs> also, okay. also, in addition, the fact that we designed it locally means we had to work with local partners. Right. So we had Concern Worldwide, and we had Kenyatta National Hospital. Uh, our interaction with Kenyatta National Hospital enabled us to to make this machine for our environment. That means it's more durable than any machine you'd bring into the country. Fantastic. You're saying all the right things, man. Is this a, is this a prototype? Is, uh, are there plans to roll it out and okay. commercially avail it? Yeah, in terms of that, uh, this is what uh, we'd call the beta prototype. So we are ready to go on to the next stage. This will involve a new machine. It will involve clinical testing. Then we will be ready to roll out the machine. How long do you think that will take? When will it be available? Uh, we should be... Guestimate. Estimate. <laughs> about six months. In about six months. In about six months. Wow. This is fantastic. Congratulations on just fa a great, great um, innovation. Yeah. Thank and you. from here at the University of Nairobi. So we really appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernest Kimani. Great to meet you, man. Congratulations. All right. And there's more. I want to go to over here to... Oh, I forgot. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Mutoro. We've got Brian and we've got Michael. We've got Michael. Yes. You're about to show us something. I love things yes. that are being shown. Can I touch anything? Yes, you can. I can touch. Yes. yes. Oh, I should not break it. Yes. What do we have here, Brian? Okay. Um. Uh, we are Swipe. Uh, swipe is a social wallet. Swipe is a social wallet. Yes. I'm from CIA. What does that mean? <laughs> you know the way you have an e-wallet yeah. uh, for parking and all that. Yes. Now this is your Dunda wallet. Ah. Now you're talking. Kuna also wanangalia watch out there like, yeah, it's about three minutes to midnight. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, bro. Okay, keep going. Okay, so um, um, ideally, uh, working with Homeboys Entertainment, we are getting a couple of issues um, in terms of ticketing. So you would buy a ticket online from a ticket vendor, then uh, you go to the gate, uh, you have a printout. Uh, if someone had access to your printout, you'd have an issue. Right. Uh, when you go to the event, you need to carry cash. Uh, the merchants still uh, experience ri uh, risk to carry cash uh, during the event. Uh, cash in transit issues and all that. So what we did is that we created an uh, online ticketing portal, uh, okay. tikiti.co.ke. Uh, yes. so, so say that URL again slowly? Oh, tikiti. Tikiti.co.ke. Yes. Okay, Swahili for tickets. Yes. Okay. Uh, tikiti, for, uh, tikiti also means watermelon in Swahili. No way. True. Watermelon in Swahili is Tikiti. Did you guys know this? No, 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 no. no. How many guys knew that watermelon in Swahili was Tikiti? Sawa index one. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, when you purchase your ticket online, you can be able to do it via USSD. That is for guys with feature phones, uh, star something, something hash. Okay. Uh, on the web portal and also on the mobile app. You purchase a ticket. In the process, you, we get your information. Uh, your ID number, phone number, that is the query I see that you ideally you know need your to open. Right. Exactly. So uh, you, you open an e-wallet for you, which you can top up with value. So when you come to the event, uh, what we do is give you a wristband like this. All right. This is not a normal wristband. It has an NFC chip inside. NFC is near field. Near field uh, communication. 
You so this is an, an, the NFC chip that comes in this wristband. What does this allow you to do? Um, so with the wallet that you created online while purchasing a ticket and right. topped up with value is mapped to this. Okay. So when you come, uh, the bouncer simply taps this. Okay, you just tap it. Just keep that up that way so we can show everybody on screen what, it, what it's showing. All right. So if you, purchase, you have the shot. Okay, great. Uh, so if you purchase a ticket, it'll yes. show access granted. If okay. you do not purchase a ticket. If uh, you haven't sorry. purchased a ticket. Uh, this card does not purchase a ticket, so just okay. tap the card. Hold the card. I'll hold the card. Um, accept denied. So accept. the bouncers will have this. Ah, okay. I see. Then um, uh, the, the vendors, the guys who are selling food and drinks uh, during the event have a terminal like this. So what we've done is we've created... Uh, Turn this terminal around so people at home and the, the audience here can see it. So what we've created is a point of sale system. Right. Uh, where the merchants, these are the guys who are selling stuff during events, uh, input all their stock. Into, uh, into the point of sale system. Okay. You, uh, as the person who topped up your wallet, uh, you simply come, uh, tap your wristband. Tap the, the wristband terminal. on the terminal. Um, select the item that you want to purchase. All right. Mm. Then... Uh, Great. <laughs> Demos on live TV. Oh, yeah. Remember, guys? It, it, it oh, is working. Fantastic. It works. <laughs> yeah. A demo has worked <laughs> on live TV. It's a miracle. <laughs> so, it's a Christmas miracle. So you, uh, you tap your wristband. Uh, tells you to complete the transaction and complete. that's it that's it exactly so uh, you don't need to carry cash during event you get all your uh, you get all your receipts as an as an sms so you can phone. keep track of the spending how much you spent at this day gig etc exactly and then uh, for uh, merchants uh, for guys who actually uh, if your phone is nfc enabled you don't need the wristband you tap your phone you tap your phone it's got all those details your your e-wallet all of that exactly and uh, we also got a mobile app so on the mobile app, uh, you, uh, you can still be able to pay using NFC. You can be able to use a QR code. Uh, this is the QR code. So the merchant has this. So a typical merchant would have something like this with a QR code printed on it. Yeah. So and then you, if, you have, if you come with your phone and you've got the app. Uh, you, you enter the amount you're paying. Okay. You scan the QR code. Scan the QR code. You're too dark. I'm too dark. Taking away the light. <laughs> wow. This just in. I am too dark. We go. Ah, fantastic. Um, the the so QR code is scanned and payment successful. successful. I get an SMS receipt in real time. I've and just made a payment of one shilling. <laughs> oh, this amazing. Exactly. So w w w w w we did this. Thank you. <laughs> we did this to solve a couple of issues. One, you as the event goer to get uh, an actual cashless experience. No one is doing this uh, in this country. So uh, we, we, we give you a totally cashless experience. We're able, uh, from the, what you purchase, uh, we're able to customize the experience. So we know Larry drinks Del Monte uh, or uh, Passion Juice. Right. During the next event, uh, when that Larry is, is coming... The, You'll the, make sure it's available. Exactly, it's Fantastic. available. Fantastic. <laughs> and, and then uh, all these data and analytics that you're mining, you can imagine the power that it has to, uh, to the vendors, suppliers, uh, manufacturers, uh, and all that. Uh, also, another challenge in the events industry uh, was... We have uh, the merchants. For instance, you, you got the license to sell drinks. Your barmen come with their own stock. Ah, <laughs> so, so you think they're selling your stock, but they're not. Exactly. You know that meme, Ulit Jamawa? Do you guys know that <laughs> meme? <laughs> Some of you recognize it. Uh -huh. So we're able, we're able to use, we're able to use um, uh, the wallet for many use cases. Uh, for instance, in high schools, uh, we, as a parent, you create a wallet. You give a card to a couple of your kids, or during an event, you create sub wallets within the wallet. The kids are able to transact uh, from the wallet, from wherever they are. You can be able to top up, great, and all that. And it is multi-channel top up, so you can top up using mobile money, and also from Visa, Master, and all that. Another use case I saw this and use at the, um, I think it was the Connected East Africa. What yes. is that? Last year or the year before? So you remember us? I do remember you guys. I remember <laughs> everyone. Uh, oh, Michael is trying to say something. <laughs> Just, just give him the mic. He wants to shout out, shout out, Nini Nini. Oh, hi guys. I'm Michael. Uh, shout out to my guys back at home. Uh, Homeboys RFC, all the best tomorrow. Uh, Kenya Sevens, all the best also. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, uh, the experience. Oh, Mean Machine. <laughs> it's true. Right. It's mean Machine versus Homeboys. Who's gonna win that one? <laughs> so I guess the crowd says Homeboys. Okay. <laughs> 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 anyway, okay. Uh, also, the experience has been used in Dubai Sevens uh, mm -hmm. to manage the whole crowd, and also Tomorrowland has been using the same experience. So you can imagine the crowd and the convenience how you manipulate everything. All right, guys, thank you so much. 
Swipe. S W Y P E. Exactly. Uh, you can be able to, uh, you can visit swipe.co.ke, uh, create an e-wallet. Uh, once you use the wallet, you can be able to gain points that you're able to redeem for any homeboys related event. So you've got loyalty points. Loyalty you points swipe. that you can redeem in any of our partner outlets. You can come to the gigs uh, using the points. All right. And, yeah. Guys, let's leave it there. A big shout out for Michael and Brian.